I got this question this week from a guy who has two custom power antennas that were sold in his old custom Lincoln in his, for his show car, I guess. And he was saying that he's having some trouble. He can't find any solution to the wiring information on, online anywhere. So here's your answer. Now, when you go to your power antennas in the trunk, and this is going to be basically the same for a Scoge, Metra, um, you name it. This one here is a Pipemans, which is made by um, Audio Pipe, I think. They have these three wires. Some of these units are going to have the regulator or relay built right into the actual antenna, which this one here has. Some of them have a little box, which is running separately. All that little box is, is a relay. Don't remove that. Don't mess with it. On the side of it, you're going to have three wires. Black is going to be for constant ground. So I'm just going to take my black wire from my power supply, twist that onto this black. Okay, so the black is constantly always grounded. Okay. And you're going to have your red and you're going to have your blue. Some vehicles, the red is going to be a keyed accessory, 12 volt wire. Blue is always going to be the turn on. So when your factory radio or your aftermarket radio turns on tuner mode, this is going to get 12 volts, which is going to take the motor and turn it on. When the red has that 12 volts on it, and this one has either the absence of power or it goes to ground, then the antenna is going to retract. So watch how it works. Red has power. I just want to say we turn the key on. Now turn the radio on. So now both wires have 12 volts. So you see the antenna is going. It's fully extended. So what's going to happen is you can have your car on and turn the radio off, which will make this happen. The antenna will go off and retract. And that's really all there is to it. So just keep in mind that red is your constant power source when the key is on. Blue is going to be the trigger 12 volt wire. Black is constant ground and that's really all there is to it. Some antennas, I can't speak for everyone, but some of them might actually get the ground from the base on the fender. Um, I've never liked those kinds of antennas, but there are some of those oldies still running around. So make sure that your base has ground. If you're doing the wiring, just as I'm explaining, and you're still having some trouble, take a look at that. But that's basically how you wire up this or any power antenna.